Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. It's very funny because when we have sex, it's a game. So like he'll run in and just like throw his boxes off and jump into bed naked. And then I'm like naked and I jump in after him. <laughs> you do? We just jump into bed. Yeah. Wow. It's very fun. That is not what we do. No? You guys are like, uh, We uh, uh. cry for at least 10 minutes before. <laughs> No, me and Corey is like a game. No, Shane and I will have to look at each other and we have to... No, don't um, tell me this. I'm gonna, it's going to honestly make me so dry. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, me too. I know. Shane me and too. I are hot. I'm not, I'm not We're joking. Hot. We're joking. We're hot. No, honestly, all I do is pretend like I'm asleep and rub my butt on his dick. <laughs> That's my favorite move. <laughs> it is the butt move. on the dick. And then they <laughs> And then they go, mm. and you're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I normally will grab his hand and just like act like I'm oh, nuzzling no, I'm closer nuzzling. and then I just like put it on my boob. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then they're yeah, like this is definitely an accident. And then they're like, hmm. And you're like, mm-mm. And then <laughs> you just like snuggle your butt back. <laughs> and he's like, do a little duck waddle. She don't and flex then like, it. Does Corey ever flex his dick in your butt? Yes. <laughs> Channel flex it, and I'm like, that is in my ass crack. I was like, did and you the just move that at me? Yes. <laughs> did you just move that? Did it just move? Is it wavy? <laughs> it to me, it's like, to me, it's like the t- the tip of the hat, <laughs> like milady. <laughs> and I'm like, um, yes, sir. <laughs> What's, What's up, up everyone? everyone? Hello. Hello. This was a bad idea. Oh, we oh. <laughs> this is a bad idea. You guys did this to first of all. First of all, you guys did this to us. Why don't you do a drunk history? Your worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely the worst idea ever you've ever had. So, but we're straight having, to jail. We're having fun. <laughs> Here's we can't call it I said drunk history to Corey's like you for sure can't call it that cuz like copyright, copyright. And okay. I was like, drunk. Hammered history. Hammered her story. Hammered oh. her story. <laughs> Hammered her story is my favorite thing I've ever said. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also. I um, remember. <laughs> <laughs> Did we already that? say what's up, everyone? Yes. Okay. Hold on. It went away. Okay. And also, <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> mm. And also. Do you guys want to hear a song? What? No. And also, <laughs> we're not going to do it exactly the same. No. We changed up a little bit. We did. Because I don't know history. I'm actually not that smart. <laughs> you guys think I'm smart. Thank you. That's so nice. Yeah, it's not true. I read a lot, but I forget almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is. We're going to read you funny history things that I found that I haven't read. I read like two. <gasps> and then you and I are going to have our reactions together. Okay. For the first time. Okay. And then also, eventually, we did get that book, One Nation Under Sex. I have it. I'm going to read it. And then we will do a real drunk history where I try to tell you. Okay. I can give can it to you. It's literally right over there. Grab it. Right, right now? now? <laughs> I'll get it. Do you want but, me to? Not right now. I, fi- I feel like I should. Do it. <laughs> Someone earlier said that I was so supportive of you. It was-, <laughs> it was so nice. Hey, also, if you're somebody who doesn't like hearing drunk people talk, fucking skip this episode for sure. Definitely skip this one. Because, because we're fucking messes. We I didn't mean to do this. We definitely Don't did yell mean at me. to do this. We de- this was definitely an intentional choice. One, well, we I recorded- meant to, but I didn't mean to get this. I haven't been drunk since 2020 because I was uh, trying to have a baby. And I was pregnant during 2020. Yes, and then I had a baby, and then I haven't been... We haven't been able to be drunk together in a very long... Since 2019. Yeah, oh my God. Wow. It's long overdue. It is. So what happened was I love we recorded <laughs> we recorded our exclusive episode for Patreon. Okay. I could be like, this 
a scared kid. Oh my god, one time I tried out for a musical and I didn't make it and I think oh. about it all the time. You guys know that you have embarrassing things that happen to you that you think about in the middle of the night. What I just did into that mic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I tried out for a musical one time. Uh-huh. And essentially like you sang a song uh-huh. and I was in singing lessons at the time. And so I sang whatever song I was working on in singing lessons that really showed my vocal range. <laughs> It was basically singing fucking opera. Right. Okay? right. Definitely what they want to hear for a musical. <laughs> anyway. And then they had this like piece of paper taped to a. They had to read like lines off. Yeah. Okay. And they would just be like, read line three like you're a. And then they would give you a character. <sighs> so they were Do like, one for me. Read line two like you're um a scared child. And I was like. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit balls! <laughs> I I like literally remember myself like really fucking leaning in, and oh no, <laughs> I'm just a little skinny girl. I don't know nothing. <laughs> and like I don't remember what the sentence was, but I think about it. it. I think about it all the fucking time because I didn't even get in the chorus of it. I didn't make one fucking part of that musical. Oh yeah, well I tried out and I they made me at the stage hand. <laughs> well, you at least got that. No, I think they were like felt bad. They were like, you can clean up the props. <laughs> well, okay. I I signed up for the musical and then I crossed my name out mm. because I found out that my family was gonna go on a cruise the same week that the <laughs> um the musical was gonna be, and I was like, Well, fuck the musical. I'm going, I'm on, going on a cruise. I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. And so I crossed my name out. And the choir director mm-hmm. called my dad to be like, why did Jerry cross her name off of the list? Because at that point, she had taken me to like the state um, tournament for like vocal stuff. And she had never taken freshmen before. And she took oh, me and one other girl. Sheesh. So she knew I could sing. Right. And so my dad pulls me out of class. Oh, my God. To be like, Jerry, I think you should try out for the musical. I'm What's like, going on? But dad, we're going to the. We're going on a cruise. But dead, like, the cruise. <laughs> but dead, the cruise. <laughs> and so they made me try out for the musical only to not fucking cast me as shit. Oh my God. And all they did was give me trauma. <gasps> that is so terrible. I know. I know. I thought that was going to be like a redeeming thing. Nope. Like they were going to be like, try again, girl. No. no. <laughs> it was before. <laughs> Yeah, they tried out. You got nothing, but you did get to go on a cruise to Mexico. Because they were like, "You're going on a cruise. Why would I cast you?" And I'm like, "Why, Why did f- you make me talk like a baby and sing an <laughs> opera song?" <laughs> did my dad pull me out of class? <laughs> yeah, you weirdo. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I just put in a preview for Patreon? <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't know. Future Jerry, did you do that? What? That was a good time. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we recorded our Patreon episode and then recorded this one. So we got extra drunk. Normally, this is kind of what Patreon's like. Yeah. Um, did except, you put it there, except, future Jerry? <laughs> well, but here's the thing. A lot of times I can't get that drunk. I have like a two drink maximum because yes. I have to drive. Yes. But I have a driver tonight. So I have a maximum <laughs> and I'll have a minimum. <laughs> And I was just really You definitely surpassed a minimum if there was one. I did. But also between betwixt 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 the episodes, we decided to hop on our Discord. Discord. If you're in the Patreon, fuckable bunny or goose pimp. Yes. Then you get the Patreon. Yes. What? No, then you get the Discord. The Discord. <laughs> and sometimes we're on there. We pop in. We do and a tonight, video cameo. We did a video will. chat and we did a little game night so where fun. we played a drinking game so that I could get extra. Because Sierra showed up here ready to go for this episode. And I'm I, committed to this, you guys in this podcast. I needed to get I needed to get here. So what happened was I took a shot of Bacardi and then I poured Bacardi in here, which was probably a bad idea. But with also, her, she mixed it with her wine. Why? You know what? We the, Why? The, cli- the, the climate is rising and we're all going to die. So who cares? <gasps> That's true. Temperatures rising. I don't know that song by like what we're doing. According to all sources. Is that Disney song? Streets to place to go. That sounds like a Disney song. It's not for the first time. Just a proud half 
person. You're going to have to cut at least 50 seconds of these <laughs> first so we don't get copyrighted. First time in history, it's going to start raining, raining man. man. <laughs> it's raining man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't know the song. Fuck it. Oh. Well, because that's the only part I know. Yeah. Why? Okay. I don't know. What do me doing? a favor real fast. Put your cheek on that mic. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes my baby Real falls sick. asleep on me like this. And like, I can't see why, because that's really nice. <laughs> it is really nice. Can you guys hear me when I get close? <laughs> sometimes if I find a pole randomly, I'll put my face on it. And I'm like, wow, that feels good on a my face. A pole? A pole? Really? Pole, a deer. <laughs> a female <laughs> deer. <laughs> right? A tropical Hey, so what we're saying is this is gonna be a fucking mess. I'm so sorry. If you want a less, not, you wanted this. If you we want got a less asked- drunk episode, go to Patreon. Pay us for a less <laughs> drunk episode. No, but honestly, this is what we get asked for more than almost anything else. I am so sorry, Jerry. Hey, while you're editing this, I'm sorry. I'm not. Ah. <laughs> Because you never get to see this in me. You get to see this of her all the time. No, occasionally. Let's be real with each other. <laughs> <laughs> occasionally, every single week. <gasps> so let's start reading this book together. Let's do it, you litter, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so let's dive in. <laughs> oh, I'm about to dive in. Huh? I can't. I, I forgot I put Bacardi in my wine. I can't. Um, it tastes delicious, if I'm honest. What am I trying to say here? Delit cheese. Delit cheese. Delit cheese. Delit cheese. People are going to immediately stop listening to this. <laughs> I know. I, this is your first episode. We're not always like this. Sometimes we cry. Hey. <laughs> first episode oh, pick another one if this is like more than your but first if this one, is your like speed why i'm sorry <laughs> nothing else is like this but also I'm i lost it where is the fun facts that it i looked get so wet is that what they say <laughs> what <laughs> i've never heard that if a girl gets so wet uh, I'm you a- don't get wet <laughs> Bro, do I? Do you I'm get wet? Like absolute waterfall. <laughs> you stop. Are you? I swear to God. Sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not. And I it am- has nothing to do with like anything different that's happening on his part. It's all just like, do I feel it? Well, it's like estrogen. I feel. But oh, here's the thing: because when I was I hydrated, yeah. Well, when I was breastfeeding, I heard that like it can make it dry up. And I told Corey, and he's like, I don't think you have a problem. And I was like, but I'm scared that I will. And I did it. It was so much. It's almost too much sometimes. It's like a, it's like a slip side. Oh, wow. It's like wow. Slippy. Is it weird that I feel wet thinking about being <laughs> not Not about you. No. About like me. Me too. But also, I think I just beat a lot. <laughs> What's up, you fucking guys? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is not good. You're gonna have to cut a lot of this. I know. And also, I lost my thing. Where well, is it? Well, great. The episode's canceled. <laughs> Guess you just got to listen to us drunk talk about being wet. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. Oh. It's on Board Panda. <laughs> Board Panda? I don't know if this is what I... Wet this, Panda? This is not what I looked up. Soaking Wet Panda. <laughs> I'm honestly pissed. Where is it? Pissing bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. There I see. History facts are as random as they are fun. These are not the ones that I found. Did they take down the site? Did Did they save the site? Yes. And then I just went to look at it and it was gone. (laughs) I'm scared. It's a problem that this mic feels so good on my face. 30. Funny history fact. I know the number 30 was there. I found it. Uh-oh. Poor panda. Poor <laughs> panda? It's poor panda again. Porn panda? Born. Porn panda. <laughs> do not what? go to do not go to porn panda.com. 
<laughs> I'm not endorsing Honestly, that. Honestly, but if you I do, I don't want to know what's there. I'm not endorsing that, but if you do, yeah. text me. <laughs> what's, what's on there? the site? What's on pornpanda.com? Only if you're 18 and older. <laughs> Obviously, is okay at any age. Well, now I have to Google it. Don't. Why? Porn panda. This is my house. Okay. I don't care what you do. I'm gonna get Google's gonna be like, "What's up?" <laughs> mm, <Okay>. Pourquoi? <laughs> Por- okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Porn panda. I didn't even go incognito. <laughs> you always go incognito. Some results may be explicit. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Panda porn videos on Pornhub? See, <gasps> I told you it was bestiality and I don't approve. Panda? Panda videos? Panda porn? Like people dressed Porn as- is helping giant pandas return to the wild. <laughs> oh. <gasps> porn for that. pandas? Scientific American Blog Network. What? What? They're playing porn for pandas? Uh, apparently it's helping pandas so porn for pandas that's the charity we're supporting this, this <laughs> no! episode no we're not okay here's one fact okay in history okay in the early 1990s pepsi owned 17 submarines a cruiser a frigate 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 for Fr- refrigerator <laughs> and a destroyer all because of a deal with the Soviet Union <gasps> in which they exchanged soda for military equipment. Oh my God. What? Why? Pepsi, why do you need that? Wait, Pepsi, Pepsi acquired military equipment and they gave Russia pe- pop? Yes. <laughs> they gave them <laughs> Pepsi and here they were like, here's, Russia was a, like, here's yeah. a sub, here's 17 submarines. <laughs> Thank you for your Pepsi. You take this gun. I take your Pepsi. <laughs> Thank you very much for your exchange. Also, so sorry. Like, hey, for real, no drunk Jerry right oh, now. Let's be real. The f- like Ukraine, we're looking out. Honestly, and did you see the message we got from? No, it was actually very upsetting. Um, it was from a twenty-one-year-old Russian man, <gasps> and he w- he is just. The thing that I feel also awful about is Ukraine is what's happening there is absolutely horrific and terrible and keeps me up at night. But there's so many innocent Russians that are not supporting yeah. what is happening. And th- that's what this person yep. was saying to us, um, that they don't support this. They feel horrible. And now they're like cutting off all of their social media to them. I saw that there were some journalists who were reaching out who were Terrible. like, hey, we are we are putting our asses on the line basically yes. for this to say that we don't agree with this. This is like, we receive threats for yes. this. So like everything, I apologize that like the way that we're addressing this right now is when we are fucking hammered yeah, so apologies seriously. if this is coming off like absolutely it wasn't terrible. really a good time to do it well we didn't have a when we recorded our, the last episodes that were coming out we were the, still like getting information we were still learning about yeah. it and we've been sharing about it on our stories and stuff um but i didn't want to like breeze past it especially knowing that there was like something that was referencing russia in one of these history facts right. um and then just like walk past it like we don't know anything's going on but yeah. again apologies that when we're addressing it we're drunk but yeah. i do want you we do want you to know that that's like on the fourth for forefront it's truly all that i've been consuming yeah since it's been happening news wise like i cannot stop just because it is awful horrific yeah, yeah. okay sorry we got i don't know how we transition There's out of no that way but we to. did but like it's such a tough spot like having a platform like this and wanting to address things but also like wanting to offer distraction yeah. as well for people because we know that like when the news is so heavy and scary and intimidating that people seek out things that are um, distractions. And so like we want to offer it, but we also don't want to like ignore yeah, yeah, important yeah. things. So we are going to transition back into your distraction, I guess, but yeah. know that it's something that is important to us. Yeah. And if we could do more, we would and i would love to find places to support and donate and all those things definitely gonna be on the lookout yep i mean we 
Um, I'm going to share. People had sent in places to donate for February's YouTube earnings. Um, we were going to donate to a um, black charity. And yeah, we, like for um, weren't we black doing History one Month. for like black women in technology? I that was the route we were going to go, but yeah. I wanted to see like what other people um had prioritized um or like if they had because again we don't know what we don't know. So if someone had a connection to a charity that they were like, this is. Yeah, doing great true. work yeah. like here's this and other people were like hey can you share whatever you find so i'm gonna share those but i'm totally down to donate march's youtube earnings oh absolutely to ukraine and everything yes, that's going on yes for that so let us know if you guys have any specific charity organizations for ukraine we can obviously do that work ourselves as well but if you are like hey this is actually going to be something that helps quickly um let us know and we will be sending that we'll send we'll donate march's earnings to it so. yeah absolutely okay back into it i think we only got through one didn't we yeah okay that reminds me of when people are like you could sober up really fast if things happen that just reminded me of that because that whole time i was like be sober be sober <laughs> i know truly because i can't like honestly i'm trying in my mind i'm like I'm but i don't want people to sober. be like they're acting drunk like i'm hammered <laughs> I know. But for that second, I needed to be not. Yes. Because that is important. And right. I want you to know that that's important. But also, I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> no, I'm an adult and I'm allowed to be. But also care about things. And don't <laughs> say I don't. <laughs> okay. 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 We need to have fun. <laughs> Let's distract Are you the okay? I'm not. Me neither. Little, 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 little. Okay, number th- number two. Oh my god, who let me put Bacardi in my wine? That was a bad idea, and I tried to stop you. I honestly did. Someone said, I love how supportive Sierra is of everything Jerry does. And I was like, not everything. She just does things before I could tell her no. <laughs> but I am supportive. Or I of do you. them in spite of you saying no. Yeah. But I do support you a lot. Thank you so much for doing that. But I did not support that decision. <laughs> no one should have. No. Okay. okay. I had a thought and it's gone. <laughs> it was there and it was gone. Okay. For over three decades, Canada and Denmark. I've heard of this, by the way. Maybe this will be what my drunk history is about if I can't find anything in this book. Okay. But for over three decades, Canada and Denmark have been playfully fighting for control of a tiny island near Greenland called called Hans Island. Every once in a while, when officials from each country visit, they will leave a bottle of their country's liquor on the island. Do you think maybe it doesn't want to be ruled by either of you and it would like to be <laughs> Han Solo? <laughs> <laughs> Why, that's good. This is me pitching for it to have some alone time yeah maybe you guys guys need to chill out maybe it needs to find itself it needs to be an independent woman yeah maybe it needs to heal i agree and grow and learn Quit putting your liquor on it (laughs) maybe it needs to be with a woman (gasps) i support that same 100 percent on soho (laughs) oh hell yeah you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. i just realized that i shrugged and that that's silent (laughs) And that this is a podcast and <laughs> silence is not our it's, friend. We can't do that. Yeah. At U.S. President Andrew Jackson's funeral in 1845, his pet parrot had to be removed. He because, had a pet parrot? Yes. And it had to be removed because it was swearing so loudly. <laughs> what? I did have a friend who had a parrot. And it swore? Uh, and it said her name, first of all, just like her mom. Can I say it on here? Sure. Am I allowed? Her name is Amanda. And they would go, Amanda! <laughs> Just like her mom. And then it would go, what the fuck? <laughs> All the time. What the fuck? It was <gasps> honestly hilarious. I love birds. They're so funny. Wow. Angus McBangus. Angus. McBangus. Angus McBangus. And Rebecca told Noah happy birthday. <gasps> and honestly, I don't think I ever responded. I'm so sorry. I have ADHD. So when I look at my comments, I'll like them and be like, I'm going to respond. And then life happens. And I'm like, yeah. I'll do that as soon as I get back on my phone. Yep. And then the app is gone. And I forget that it exists because object, yep, object permanent permanence. is a th- or permanence. <laughs> 
<laughs> object permanence is a thing. <laughs> So thank you. And Noah was so fucking happy when that happened. He was like stoked. And I told his dad and I kind of felt like a celebrity. (laughs) Really? I was like, do you watch Angus McBang is on TikTok? He's like, we love him. I was like, she's a fan. (laughs) (gasps) Oh, I know. It made me feel really cool. So immediately I imposter syndrome stepped in and was like, no, 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 no. We're a fan of her. It's like a mutual fandom situation. Yeah. Like she has our merch. <laughs> yeah. I see you, girl. And that's why I love you so much. I know. Not I, even I that's think why. I, I loved you before. Yeah, you should I, know that. I think I sent two videos to you where I was like, I think she's wearing her merch. And I was like, wow, I'm in love. <laughs> I love Angus McBangus. <laughs> I am going to. Hey, Sober Jerry, I'm really sorry about this episode. I'm I not. hope you deserve this. <laughs> oh, my God. For hey. everything you've done to me. I was. Sober. Everything I did to you. I was sober when Tequila Jerry was born. <laughs> and you only had to experience her once. I'm going to have to experience this like five oh, times. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I know. Ugh. I know. I hate being right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell me history. The men's marathon at the 1904 Summer Olympics was a disaster. Sounds like it because it's men's. <laughs> <laughs> the first to arrive at the finish line was Fred Lors, who had actually dropped out of the race after nine miles and hitched a ride to the stadium, back to the stadium in a car, waving to spectators and runners alike during the ride. So he was the first one back. He's like, fuck this running i'm gonna get in a car (laughs) honestly sounds like me when the car broke down at the 19th mile the car broke down at the 19th mile meanwhile (laughs) there's still people who are like going (laughs) so he re-enters the race and jogs across the finish line i feel like that's cheating this definitely sounds like cheating what the fuck after being hailed as the winner he had his photograph i thought when you said hailed you were like what the hell (laughs) what's after he's been hailed (laughs) Okay. He had his photograph taken with Alice Roosevelt, who was the daughter of President Teddy Roosevelt. Wait a minute. He he won? Yes. Hold on. Even though he cheated? He was about to be awarded the gold medal when his subterfuge. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but it's the word that's used for you. Okay. But it was revealed. Upon being confronted by officials, they didn't have technology nobody knew he was in a car wow i know sneaky upon being confronted by officials lores immediately admitted his deception and despite his claims that he was just joking that (laughs) sounds like you're gaslighting i'm just kidding i'm just kidding that was just a jokey joke for all of us and i'm sorry you gave me remember when i got in that car and won the olympics that was funny (laughs) give me my medal the aau then responded that he was banned for a year but then he, he was a band for a year. You should have heard his number one hit. It was <laughs> I got in a car and won a medal. <laughs> but then later he won the 1905 Boston Marathon. Then, Less impressive than the Olympic. Yeah. Then Thomas Hicks ended up being the winner of the event, although he was aided by measures that would not have been permitted in later years. So 10 miles from the finish, he led the race by a mile and a half, but he had to be restrained from stopping and lying down by his trainers. (laughs) From then until the end of the race, he received several doses of strychnine, which is a common rat poison, which stimulates the nervous system in small doses. What the fuck? So he continued to battle onwards, hallucinating, barely able to walk. That would make me run. If I'm hallucinating, I'm fucking (laughs) sprinting. (laughs) He was barely able to walk for most of the course. When he reached the stadium, his support team carried him over the line, holding him in the air while he shuffled his feet as if he was still running. (laughs) What? (laughs) Like a fucking whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Hicks had to be carried off to... He didn't die. Oh my god. I thought he did. <laughs> what? Said, it said Hicks had to be carried off the track and might have died. I thought it said he did die. Oh. And I was scared. <laughs> he might have died in the stadium had he not been treated by several doctors. He lost eight pounds just during, during the, the run? course of the marathon. Um That's okay. a lot of weight. The a marathon's only twenty three point something. Twenty three twenty three point six? 2319 2319 23.6 maybe sure you know how i know that 
No, nope. because sometimes I would drive. I would drive a car in a marathon, and I would follow people, and they would have these bumper stickers that would say twenty three point six or tw- or thirteen. No, twenty three point. <laughs> fuck, twenty three point two. Sure. No, twenty six. Twenty six point two. Uh huh. And thirteen point one. And I'd be like, Are this Bible verses? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is that? Is that like John 316? What's <laughs> happening? What are you referencing? I didn't realize it had anything to do with a marathon. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> stupid. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> it is a true story. I had a friend who had a, a 26.2 and a 13.1, and I was like, wow, you are devoted. In marathons? I thought Jesus, but. <laughs> It was definitely Turns marathon. Out it was running. It was running for God. <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> okay. In 1722, the readers of The Current, a paper published in Boston, were captivated by letters sent in by a widow with a keen wit and a gift for satire, oh. Mrs. Silence Do Good. In her letters, Mrs. Do Good poked fun at some illustrious institutions such as Harvard, therefore winning the hearts of many. For months, no one knew the identity of Mrs. Doogood. Is this Bridgerton? It turns out Silence Doogood was actually 16-year-old Benjamin Franklin, who worked as an apprentice in his brother's print shop. (gasps) I am actually shook by that. I never knew that. Benji Frank? Benjamin, you're a little fucking prankster. (laughs) You're a little fucking... Benjamin Franklin. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, this makes this makes this makes Benjamin this Franklin is such a good such a good name. Honestly, is it weird that this makes Benjamin Franklin hotter what? than me? Oh, I just fucking turned on my <laughs> right. Wow, I have never been wetter for Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> I'm like Mr. Silence. Do do me. <laughs> You know Mr. what I say? Silence, do me. Wait, Mrs. Benjamin Franklin? So he's being a woman too in it. That's <gasps> hot. Wow. I'm into that. I love a man who's secure in his masculinity. That's what I'm saying. Or femininity. <laughs> <laughs> Sexuality. This next one's the- <laughs> gender identity, <laughs> fluidity, all of the things. Yeah. This next one says potato. Sex one says? This next one. <laughs> Oh my god, this this episode may never see the light of day. I may text I you hope- tomorrow and be like, actually We have to redo all yeah, of this. We have to just pick something else. Or people will love it. Guys, tell us. Tell us in the comments below. Tell us. Did Jerry let us put this out? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> it's fine. My Bacardi wine! I think I'm just gonna leave the state until Tuesday so that we can't record. Leave the state? I will. Where are you gonna go? What state? Pennsylvania. <laughs> I tried oh to think of one God. that's close to us. Good luck. Potatoes weren't very popular in France. Do you know this about France? Mm-hmm. Do you know what's a weird thing Definitely, that we did? That's why we called them freedom fries. Why did we do that? That was a weird... Because we were pissed at the French for not supporting for us. For what? For what? We were mad at them, which is why we called them freedom fries. Did we call freedom them freedom toast bread? Waffles. French toast pizza? French waffles. Is it French not toast pizza? <laughs> French waffles is not a thing. Is it French bread? Oh, French. freedom bread pizza. That was that didn't have the same ring to it. No, freedom at fries all. was kind of cool. I'll <laughs> yeah. be honest. I was in sixth grade. And I was like, oh, I have some freedom fries. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> America. I didn't know what was, that I love more than free fries. I, was, I didn't know what I was, was happening. I was the sixth grader. I honestly, honestly, I was bleeding through my pants every, <laughs> every fucking the chance I got. You didn't start your period in sixth grade. No, you're right. I was I'm almost in high school. I was in high school. I you think were I was in high school. I think I was a freshman. I was in eighth grade. Oh, that's cute for you. <laughs> Mario Kart Erica started her period before me, and I was like, hey! Yeah, what the fuck? You're younger than us. That's why I said rude. You started before me, and I was pissed. I was like, why I'm is everyone than fucking you. bleeding? By <laughs> nine days! I was like, when is it my turn to and drop like, an egg out of this bitch? <laughs> nine days after me. I'm honestly just trying to ovulate. 
<laughs> What's a girl got to do to ovulate around here? <laughs> God, you guys thought you saw us drunk before. You've never seen us drunk like this. No, I made sure that I went so fucking hard for you. I'm gonna have a, a, such a hangover tomorrow. I'm so oh, scared. I'm Shane, so scared. You have to take care of the kids tomorrow all day. Actually, I know normally I say just the morning, but sorry, all day. Mommy's tired. Mommy worked so hard last night. <laughs> yeah, mommy's at work. I'm scared. It's going to be a nice day, too, which is fucking annoying. It is? Because Ohio, our weather has sucked ass. And then tomorrow is supposed to be like 69. Stop. Ah. Ah. (laughs) Stop it. For sure? I fucking eat that weather's ass. (laughs) Let me see. Let me see. Look at it. Let me see. It's supposed to be 50. 70. 70, it says now. 68. Well, between that, 69. Oh, wow. I told you. 71 on Sunday? I know. Oh, my God. I smack those boobs. Take a... Where did it go again? Okay, yeah, I found it. Potatoes weren't popular in France, and that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. This changed when Antoine Augustine... You know what? France isn't popular in potatoes. That's what I always say. <laughs> that's what I always say. This this Antoine Augustine Parmentier... Took, <laughs> he took matters into his own hands to promote the potato as a food source for humans in France. Look at this potato! It makes the most delicious French fries! I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> But it's giving, it's giving very much the fucking crab from Little Mermaid. He's Jamaican. I'm sorry. I mean the guy that tries to kill the fucking crab. You remember? I do. I like him. I didn't mean him. I meant the ones that try to kill him. They're friends, right? Crab. Yeah. Suck les bleus. That's it. Yeah. He'd surround his potato patch with guards <laughs> during the days. So he would suggest that there were valuable goods in his potato patch. And then and the then potatoes. he'd take the guards away at night. And then people would come and steal his potatoes. <gasps> and then they'd eat them and be like, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what the fuck? These suck. Yeah. What? No, they, they ever have, have a raw potato? You think that these people did know what potatoes were, and they, but they knew how to prepare them? Uh, have you ever eaten a raw potato? I love raw potatoes. Are you fucking insane? I eat them insane? as a snack. You're shitting me. Put salt on a raw potato, and I'll eat it all day. You don't. It's so good. Oh, my God. Your pore is showing. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. No, other poor people. <laughs> Vindi- vindicate validating <laughs> Vindicated. I'm poor <laughs> eating potatoes. Raw as fuck. Dude, I would peel a potato and eat it as a snack. You would? Oh, oh, yeah. Just a like raw bite potato? It. You put salt on it. You guys put salt on a raw potato and then just bite it off. It's so good. Are you kidding? You've never had raw potatoes? Oh, I feel sad for you a little bit. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was honestly pretty poor. I know. Is that a poor thing or am I just a bitch? Like, tell me. Answer in the comments below. Oh, and also, I didn't know how to cook. So I feel like it was a little bit of poor, a little bit of neglect. <laughs> 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 like, I couldn't prepare a meal, but also no adults were around. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I'm going to eat this. Yeah. He didn't mean to neglect me. That's capitalism. My parents were working a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. What are you supposed to do? Eat a raw potato, I, I guess. I did, and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus said it was good, bitch. <laughs> oh. Ronald Reagan's first job was a lifeguard. Over that six year, those six years that he was lifeguard, he saved seventy seven people from drowning. Oh, I know. Who would have thought? Not That's me. A lot. I know. That's a lot of people who can't fucking swim. 
I feel like a lot of people can't swim and they try and then they have to be like lifeguards. That's not a job. For, I've like, never met a single person who's like, you know what? I fucking got saved by someone. Well, I don't know around pool. here because we live in a very small place, but I know a, like and uh, everyone who's in the pool can touch. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. Yeah. But like drowning happens and it's. Yeah. <gasps> I heard it's a trip. Yeah, me too. Mm hmm. I, that's my I'm very I heard someone was like would you rather go by fire or water and I was like I think I hallucinate with water so that one I, but with fire I feel like you die from the smoke first so you would you never feel the fire I know there's no way yeah how you die from smoke inhalation like way before the fire that's gets to you that's not true says who what if the fire ask a firefighter right now firefighters what would happen what came first fire the smoke death <laughs> I'm telling you. But if you like are literally on fire, but you're in a well, well ventilated area, what? you would definitely that, feel the fire. I'm not talking about being on fire. <laughs> what you, That's you, what I was saying. Who's immediately just on fire? That's not a fire. <laughs> I don't know. I played The Sims too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that happens. Oh. But like. Well, there's that then. Yeah, okay. but like drowning. Drowning can happen. Drowning can happen, I feel, so easily. Even if you can touch cramps. Yeah. Swimming? I don't How know. What cramps are you getting while you swim? Honestly, I have IBS. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Okay. I just keep cra- I'd be cramping. I'd, I'd be, be cramping. cramping all the time. If there's one thing I'd be doing, it'd be cramping. I'd be cramping. Must be come boy. here. He freaks out good? if he doesn't know where I am. Are you a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Today... I was so tired when Ollie woke me up like way too early. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, Ollie, do you just want us to go play in your room? And, which meant I'm going to lay in your bed yes. <laughs> and you can do whatever you want in your room. I don't care. Yep. And Mosby didn't know I was up there. <laughs> and so he was like running around the house trying to find me. And oh. when he finally realized I was in Ollie's room, he just like laid down in there. <laughs> Where did you go? I miss you so. Okay. He's a boy. So. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop. This is so carbonated. <laughs> so Abraham Lincoln saw it. It's a <laughs> Corona Carbonara. Carbonara. Yes. Is that goopy Carbonara <laughs> from Sims? No, there is just a regular Carbonara. Is it Carbonara or is yeah. it Cabarona? It's definitely not a Cabarona. <laughs> Never in my it's life have I heard Cabarona. Carbonara? Yeah, Carbonara. Goopy Carbonara. <laughs> you guys I was play always the like, that looks good. I want him to make the goopy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. On Love Island, uh, Anton just made Carbonara. That's what it was? Yeah. Oh, that was that looked good. Yeah. That's fuck, actually. Goopy Carbonara. Goopy. Okay, ready? Abraham Lincoln's son, Robert Todd Lincoln, was coincidentally either- Why do I imagine uh, Abraham Lincoln not having children? I didn't either, but he did. Apparently. I guess. Okay. A few. Hmm. I'm making that up. I don't know. <laughs> this is a fucking lie. At least one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was coincidentally either president or nearby when three presidential assassins occurred. Mm. So Lincoln was That's not a I know. Well, he wasn't present at his father's assassination, but he was at the White House, and then he was rushed. <laughs> Sorry, <That's cool. laughs> and then he was rushed to be with his parents. Um, the president was moved to the Peterson House after the shooting, where Robert attended his father's deathbed. Oh, very sad. Robert attended his father's. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. And President James A. Garfield, who I didn't know was a real human or a president. <laughs> we had a or president, assassinated. We had a President Garfield? Yeah. That's confusing. What? He's not a cat. <laughs> there are other things. I'm just imagining him eating a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, mm, delicious. <laughs> and I can't wait like, to make this an executive order. And you're like, Mr. President, please. <laughs> Every citizen must have a lasagna. <laughs> I will not rest until it's so. Oh my god. I would honestly vote that cat in the office so Same. fucking fast. 
<laughs> um, so at his invitation, Robert Todd Lincoln was at Sixth Street train station in Washington D.C. At his invitation, yeah. So James A. Garfield was like, "Come to me." Oh, I thought I was like, "Invitation to what?" At his okay, invitation to it. the Sixth Street train station in Washington D.C. Okay. And then the president was shot on July second, eighteen eighty one, and. Lincoln was an eyewitness to the event. Wow. He was serving as Garfield's Secretary of War at the a time. A likely story. Which I didn't know that was a thing. No, they yeah. know who shot him. It was Charles J. Guto. <gasps> it President- was Charles J. Goopy Carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> the lasagna and the Goopy Oh my oh, god. I'm so hungry. Me too. I'm fucking starving. Um at President William McKinley's invitation. Do you know about William McKinley? We have that in Ohio. Yes. McKinley. I, the McKinley McKinney? McKinley McKinley <laughs> Monument. If you guys go back far enough on my Instagram, you'll see Mosby posed with the McKinney McKinney? <laughs> McKinley Monument. Was that where you took my pictures too of me and Noah? Yes, in the yard yes. around there. Yeah, yes, that was so nice. So Lincoln was at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York, where the president then William McKinley was shot on September sixth, nineteen oh one. Though he was not an eyewitness to the event, he was outside the building where the shooting occurred. Um, Lincoln himself recognized these coincidences, and he is said to have refused a later presidential invitation with the comment, no, I'm not going, and they'd better not ask me because there is a certain fatality about presidential function functions when I am present. Oh, he Isn't thought he was a jinx. He did think he was a jinx. He's like, every time I go somewhere, a president dies. Yeah. Because I bring a shotgun, motherfuckers. Because I kill somebody. <laughs> Just Allegedly. Alleged. But did you Don't see come for Look me. At- <laughs> Get your fucking foot out of my Don't blanket. Don't talk to my dog like that. What was it? <laughs> I'm, I'm gaslighting you. <laughs> Immediately. What are you talking about? I never said that. What dog? <laughs> <laughs> Where? This is a cat and he eats a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this is a president of the United States. I have some respect. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President <laughs> Abby Burns <laughs> oh. You guys is this better than drug history? Or should we lock it up and then throw <laughs> away the key? I'm awaiting a call from our management. Uh, they're they're like, gonna be like, hey, <laughs> tighten it up. <laughs> <ladies>. <laughs> yeah. The world is watching, and we're going to be like, we know. (gasps) Mr. President. (laughs) Happy birthday. I want to touch your toes. Let me. (laughs) Abraham Lincoln was a skilled wrestler, and he was honored with an award from the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1992. That's impressive. And also, way too late. (laughs) He was dead for a long time. (laughs) For sure. But how cool is that? He seems too tall for that. A wrestler, but maybe they need length. I don't think so. I don't know a lot about wrestlers, Me but neither. I feel like length would work in the in the, in the, the disadvantage. Op- yep. No, because if you have I more was like, limbs, not the, the other <laughs> way, opposite, not an advantage, but the opposite. Yeah. Did you know? No. Ancient cultures often use bread stamps. Bread stamps. I know what a mushroom stamp is, but what's a bread <laughs> stamp? Partly because of human pride, but mostly to combat bread fraud. Bread fraud? Each baker had a unique bread stamp that could be traced back in case bread was found adulterated. If they were selling their bread that they didn't make. That makes no fucking sense I want you to make a stamp for your bread right now. Right now? Yeah. It's click clacks paws. Oh, I love that. Okay. Put my dog's feet. In your fucking bread. I call it Dolly, Dolly Parton, and I will put my <laughs> nipples in it. Just a nibble in your bread. Oh, this is the nipple bread. That must be the Dolly Parton. Did you know? Did you know? Ancient Greek and Roman statues were, in fact, painted. 
painted in various colors. Yes. But a lot of the paint faded away over time. You knew yes. that? I did because someone. Oh, I sorry. I did not know that. Yeah. I, because I saw one. Oh, my God. I saw someone restore it and it was like using a lot of bright colors. And I was like, I thought everything was beige. <gasps> And they're like, absolutely not, you uncultured swine. I'm, like, I'm <laughs> you so sorry. Fucking absolute idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said to me. And I was like, fair enough. Also, sometimes when your head is just like that where it is right now, nope, you moved it right there. You look like a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> is it because of it's because of the plant behind you? <laughs> okay, good. You know, this one's sad. Okay. And it makes me upset that our ancestors were such absolute pieces of shit. Okay. The Battle of Bull Run during the American Civil War, which, by the way, was like one of the worst, correct? Okay. We learned about that. Oh. They nicknamed it the Picnic Battle because many of Washington's civilians and the wealthy elite, including congressmen and their family, went on picnics on the sidelines and watched the battle. What? Is like a that, football game? Like a football game, but it was people literally dying. What? And the Battle of Bull Run was supposed to be a fucking terrible one. So how absolutely disgusting is that of people? So fucking bizarre. Why would you do that? What? Who's Who has an appetite at that time? Yeah, you're just like, I'd like to have a sandwich and watch this person get gutted by a bayonet. Yeah. No. You absolute Weirdo. piece of shit. You know what I love with my brie? <laughs> Muskets and murder. <laughs> yeah, muskets and murder. Why? Oh my god! Muskets, like, murder, and mayonnaise. Can... <laughs> Sounds like a perfect Sunday to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. But I like that. <laughs> okay, that's a new one. I just don't understand how people are like. They were just so absolutely. Maybe it was because they were all just like, yeah, the people... oblivious. People nowadays say that because of the internet, like, oh, we're too, what's that fucking word called? Sensitive? No, the opposite. We're too. Oh, oh insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> desensitized. We're too desensitized. Everybody's too desensitized because of video games. And it's like, really? Because our ancestors used to eat a fucking picnic lunch and watch people get murdered. Okay, okay. Like a lot of people. Honestly, I am a bit desensitized to stuff because of the internet, but... I don't think I am. I, think I I'm don't more think I would to it. be desensitized enough to sit next to a Watch fucking Watch cannons battle. blowing people's limbs No off way. I have a hard like, time doing mm, that on movies. Sandwich. So, yeah. like, it, sandwich? <laughs> I definitely think that like there is a desensitization because like if I can get on Snapchat sure. and go through like to the Daily Mail and see someone like read a headline that's like so and so got decapitated by their Tinder date and yeah. I'd be like yeah sounds like a Tuesday oh my that's god that's concerning For but sure. like I don't think I could go to lunch and watch someone be decapitated yeah. by their Tinder date yeah 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 I understand that yeah if someone's like I don't know maybe fuck what what you good yeah. For real? Ew. <laughs> Figure it out, Buster. Okay. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> Around the 17th century, New England states outlawed Christmas because celebrations were rowdy public displays of excessive eating and drinking. I love that. Oh, I love yeah. both of those things. Bunch of the buzzkills. Mockery, the mockery of established authority. Blech. Aggressive begging, <laughs> often combined with the threat of doing harm. Oh, that's bad. And even the boisterous inv invasion of wealthy homes. That sounds like burglary. <laughs> that sounds like. That's breaking and entering. My kind of holiday. <laughs> that's a fun time. Merry oh. Christmas. Did you know that Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both died on the same day? And that day no. was July 4th, 1826, which was also the 50th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. Well, that seems suspicious. Very. Adam's last words includes an acknowledgement of his longtime friend and rival. He says, Thomas Jefferson survives. Those were his last words. And he was unaware that Thomas Jefferson had just died hours before <gasps> him. Wow. Right? What the fuck? I can't stop thinking about Thomas Jefferson's coming, coming home. home. Thomas Jefferson's coming home. 
Mm. Je me suis quand même home. Mm, I miss, I miss Hamilton. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Here's the thing, everyone. We've made an off mistake. <laughs> made a giant mistake. I'm starting to sober up, I think, and that's because I've stopped drinking the wine that I dump Bacardi in. Oh, Mama, have it. <laughs> what did uh, well, you say? Well, here's the thing. I have it. I, uh, I have not. <laughs> You have not. What's up, everyone? <laughs> the point of this entire thing was basically for Sierra to get as shitty as I've I been. haven't been able to get drunk since we've started recording on video. Yes. Because I was so knocked up mm -hmm. and then had a baby. Right. It's a girl. <laughs> Do you remember She's that commercial? She's a lady. Oh, my God. There was a commercial, you guys, and it used to be my favorite, and it was. They, they were like talking about how you don't have to it was like the beginning of cell phones and they're like, you don't have to call and like spend money for long distance oh okay. remember when you had to okay. do that and so they were proving that point so they called and they were like what's your name and then they were like we out a baby and they're like what's the last name it's a girl <laughs> Like the name oh, was, no, it was so like they, John. We out a baby is a girl, <laughs> <laughs> so that they could save money. Yeah, so they didn't have to call long distance. But they were like, "It's John. We out a baby is a girl." <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's funny. Okay, okay. Last one. The longest ever U.S. presidential inauguration speech belongs to William Hen Henry Harrison, hmm. which I don't know who this president is either. President Harrison. Ford. <laughs> no. The day of the inauguration was overcast with cold wind and a noon temperature estimated to be 48.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 9.2 degrees Celsius for those. Who 48 know is what that like means. hot. For us. Yeah. Yeah. But the president chose not to wear a coat, hat or gloves for the ceremony. Harrison's speech consisted of 8,444 words. That's a lot of words. So many. Weeks. How many do we say? <sighs> it's got to be close. <laughs> have, you guys been, have you guys been counting? Weeks after the inauguration, Harrison caught a cold that eventually turned into pneumonia. <gasps> and he died oh my on gosh. April 4th, which made his presidency the shortest in American history. What a fucking idiot. Yeah, not good. What a fucking idiot. We're a coach. Damn it. <laughs> well, what accent was that? Where did we go? And also, was it his fault? Does the cold get you sick? That's what no, I want to know. I don't think Scientists, so. Scientists, tell me. Maybe. I don't know. I say no, but also I say that I don't know dick about <sighs> shit. I don't know anything. I can't. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I know. Don't yawn because you're going to make me yawn. Well, I already did it. Leave it in the comments below if you just yawned. <laughs> and if you did... What the fuck are you still doing watching this? This was a mess. <laughs> this was a mess. So sorry to everyone who sat through this. Thank you. But yeah, also, for sure, you made you. us do this. And if I feel like shit tomorrow, I'm going to be so pissed at you. This was definitely requested highly, highly, constantly, all the time, everywhere, deeply, truly, madly, deeply inside of my body. And I was <laughs> like, what are you doing in here? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like here. we need to be in here. You invited us in. I definitely didn't. And now we're doing? here. <laughs> this feels like an invasion of privacy. <laughs> and they're like, if I stay here seven years, I get squatters rights. And I'm like, well, fair enough. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> Six? Well, you got one more year, Buster? Honestly, I appreciate the hustle. So <laughs> keep keep on keeping on, my guy. <laughs> anyway, that's how Shane and I got married. I was like, how long have you been in here? And he's like, a stay I set here. up camp in this bitch. Mm -hmm. And you're like, cool, do you want to wed each other so we... Are doing this legally? For sure. Stop yawning. I'm sorry. We're hammered. Okay. Anyways, this was fun. Um, you remember at the end of every drunk history when the people are just like puking and like they feel like they're dying? Falling asleep. That's, That's what this is happening. That's what this is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. You, if you wanted hate this, this. If you hate this. Then you did it. It's not on us. Yeah, we're gaslighting you. <laughs> You did this. You made Are me you do happy? this. This you is your fault. Promise? I just want to make you happy. Are you never happy? No I'm kidding. No, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I love you so much. Are we ending this? Hey, those of you who don't like 
This isn't Whoopi Goldberg. Who is this? This is a steel ball. If you guys, I named I my her cat name... after her for this reason. I thought Lucille Ball's name was Lucy O'Ball. <laughs> and I recently have learned that that is not correct. No. And anyway, those of you who don't like her picture here and you think it's like crooked, this is a photo yeah. from a time book. Yep. Um, that I got from a library and I ripped it out and I put it here. And if you don't like it, that's she fine. She stays. She stays. She's part of the family. She is. She's got purple eyes, which is something to think about. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, hey guys, <laughs> we love you so much. Yeah. We thank you for hanging out with us. If you made it this far, um, leave us, leave us. <laughs> Leave us a special present somewhere. Please, we need it. And say, hey, this is your special present for me making it all We're the way. probably still recovering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or probably um, having panic attacks that you hate us now. So No, anyway. I'm going to tomorrow. I do every time after I drink. I'm like, are you exposed too much of yourself? Uh-huh. Everyone thinks you're annoying as fuck. Yep. Good job. They hate you. You're stupid. Yeah. Oh my God. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. <laughs> we love you so much. We will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs>